NCAA college basketball for Sunday. We had a bumpy Saturday going uh, going 0 and 3, but we really should have been just 1 and 2. Uh, so you know, the other day, the first day of the year, we were 3 and 2, and then uh, yesterday went bad. We had a push, and then uh, the we had an overtime loss. I hope that does not become a trend because it seems like in the in the NBA when there's been overtime, it seemed to seems to have been going against us. I'm gonna have to check on that. Again, don't forget we got our NBA segment on totals. This this total segment for the NCAA college basketball, I think is going to catch some momentum here as we get more information. We start to make some better picks. Yesterday was bad, but that's going to happen from time to time. Three and five on the year in just two days. We have a long ways to go. Let's see what we can do uh, today. Hopefully we can get back on the winning track. Let's look at three games on the card. The first one up we got here is Long Beach State versus Wichita State. Oddsmakers have the total at 139 and a half, and I'm going to go with the under. We got two pretty decent defensive coaches uh, with Greg Marshall and Dan Monson. Uh, for Long Beach State, you know, Greg Marshall, of course, for Wichita State. Wichita State lost pretty much everybody. You know, all their stars from last year in their uh, in their opener, uh, you know, well, the opener really is against Long Beach State. But they played South Carolina State the other day in, you know, kind of an exhibition. And they won 85 to 39. And they allowed South Carolina State to shoot just 27% from the field. Now, that's South Carolina State. So it's kind of hard to get a gauge. But, you know, Wichita State, they're going to play tough defense. And they're not going to go super fast. So a good, re- you know, good reason why to go ahead and back the under considering they're at home and they're probably going to co- control the pace. Now, Long Beach State, pretty good program. Uh, they'll be right in there with the in the Big West. There always seems to be like in the top three. Uh, Justin Bibbins comes back, good point guard. Uh, against Cal State, what do I got down here? Got, against Cal State Los Angeles, they did a really nice job on the defensive end, really great job in the second half, allowing just 21 points. And it seemed like they kind of focused and ratcheted things down. They ended up winning, you know, by what, 30, 40. I mean, they crushed them 90, 95 to 59, but they allowed just 59 points. So, of course, a different scenario here with Wichita State. But for these two teams, these two coaches, Defense is going to have to come first. I think they both know that. And I think we're going to see a slower pace game, uh, you know, that will keep us under this total. So I'm going to stay under the one. I'm going to go with under uh, 139 and a half, Wichita State, Long Beach State. Next one up, we got Yale versus Washington. Now, Yale, of course, they got some bad news. They lost uh, Makai Mason. I hope I'm saying that uh, correctly. Who would have been their uh, best returner by far? Unfortunately, he got hurt. It looks like he's going to be out for the year. Their focus is is on defense and rebounding. This is Yale we're talking about. Make sure, in case I didn't mention that. Um, They were number two in in rebound margin last year, which is a really good statistic. Ivy League's kind of a scrappy league. You know, not bad. But for me today, it's all about Lorenzo Romar and uh, Markel Fultz, the uh, point guard for uh, Washington, uh, super freshman. He's going to be awesome. But uh, Lorenzo Romar, uh, he always goes fast. Last year, they were number two in adjusted tempo. And it seems like every year that's Washington. They go really fast. So the odds right here, and I didn't even mention it because I wanted to go ahead and jump out ahead and talk about this. Uh, 150 and a half for Washington and the L. And I'm going to go over the total. This is at Washington. Uh, and I think they're going to go really fast this game. I think Yale's going to be able to keep up. I think they have enough back. Um, you know, they have uh, four you know, four key guys are gone, but they do have a, a few seniors back that should be able to, you know, help them go ahead and keep up with the scoring because Washington is going to put up some points. So I believe this being an opening game, we're going to see something a little bit more up-tempo with Washington controlling the pace. So that's what I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to back over the total of 150 and a half with Washington and Yale, which should be an up and down affair. Uh, last one we got on the card today is Northridge versus UCLA. I looked at this one for a while because the total is huge, 165 and a half. And last year when these two matched up, they were it was around 130 points total. UCLA stomped them. Northridge has some they have some pretty good guys back. Um, you know you got Reggie Theus for Northridge, of course, uh, former NBA player, and, and they go fast. Northridge goes really fast. They're expected to be better this year. They're uh, pick third in the Big West. Now, UCLA just got done thumping Pacific. Again, Pacific's picked lower in uh, the WCC. Sorry, let me get to the pick here. 165 and a half, I'm going to go over. And I usually don't like to go over on a total this high. But I really think from the get-go, this is going to be an absolute track meet. And this is why. So UCLA recently uh, played Pacific. They're picked the lower part of the WCC. WCC, though, is better than the Big West, in my opinion. Um. Now, they got up 69 shots versus Pacific. They allowed 66 shots by Pacific. And Pacific put up 80 points. UCLA scored almost 120. It was up and down all night, and UCLA shot light, shots light, shot lights out. Excuse me. They have a lot of guys back. They're loaded. I don't think they're going to have any trouble scoring tonight, and I expect them to put up over 90 points. Now, Northridge is not bad. 
against uh, and they're they just had a you know one of those preseason games like just before the season they got up 64 attempts uh, versus versus Pomona Pomona that's what it was, Pom, Pom, uh, Pomona Poly or something like that um, I'd, I'd have to go check and I'm not going to go do that I know it's Pomona something as you know one of those smaller schools but what gets me on this one is they allowed 72 attempts from Pomona. Now Pomona is a small school. They have, they only shot, you know, just over 30% from the floor and from three, but they allowed 72 attempts. That's a lot. That's a lot of attempts for Northridge to allow. So I don't see any reason why UCLA cannot get up 70 shots. And that's going to really help. I think get us to the over and I think they're going to knock them down. And I think that's going to be an absolute track meet. That's, my prediction, that's what I think is going to happen. So I'm going to go back over the total 165 and a half with UCLA and Northridge. Steve Alford never coaches defense, you know, but offensively, they're they're solid. And they'll upset some teams sometimes because they can really score. If he can get them to play some good defense, and you think he'd be able to do that being a being a Bob Knight uh, student, but I guess he doesn't really, you know, I guess I don't think him and Knight actually get along very well. Uh, but Steve Alford, he's a good coach, good offensive coach. I, if UCLA could play some defense, they, you know, I think they'd be a lot better. But they like to go up tempo, so hats off to them. I think they're going to go fast, really fast, and get over this 165 and a half. And that this one kind of it gets me a little bit. I'm I'm not really digging this one, but just looking at those two matchups kind of got me to go ahead and pull the trigger on that. So those are my three plays today. Play them, fade them, uh, take a good look at them. This is what we got one more time. We got uh, Long Beach State, Wichita State under the 139 and a half. Yale and Washington. This is mostly because of Washington. Uh, uh, I'm going to go over 150 and a half in those two with that matchup. And then finally, Northridge UCLA absolute track meet over the 165 and a half. Those are my NCAA college basketball picks for the day. That's our total segment for college basketball. Check it, take a look at the NBA segment and I wish you luck on your picks today. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more. 